My name is Margaret Ann Windsor, Peggy Ann Dixie Childers, the name that was given me when you kidnapped me, America, and the New World Order from Buckingham Palace in 41 at age two. This is my dad, the real King Edward VIII. His own brother sold him out, George VI, to Roosevelt, to the Kennedys, who was ambassador, and installed uh, illegal lineage, Elizabeth, Charles, and uh, William. Uh, as I said, they're all part of the New World Order, Rockefeller's Rothschild. They're in place now, Obama's. Um, I thought it was a book that I'd written, a medical malpractice was the reason of all the pain and suffering I was having in my son, by the way, that I haven't seen since really 1980. Um, medical malpractice was, was about mind control. This hadn't happened time, but this is a mind control murder. Um, victim of uh, Timothy McVeigh. Um, it's about biochips and um, no one wants to talk about it. It's invisible. Project Lucid. Um, it's another name for um, New World Order. Now then, um, I put on some prior tapes. But I've put on there how the last years up here in Roanoke, I've starved and frozen, and I get a place, and I'm threatened if I don't have a place, I'll be locked up. If I get a place, I'm soaked in chemicals. And I'll go back to, well, uh, I've named the names on here. Um, I'll go back to Frida Barton. Um, supposedly, she was going to help me get a place. I'm living in the woods and pulling stuff and uh, having my tent soaked at night uh, with chemicals. Um, what The damage done to me and my body is hell, liver, kidneys. My immune system attacks itself. I'm allergic to chemicals. Um, Frida Barton approached me, said she was going to help. Instead, she led me, because I don't have a car, I don't, I'm kept penniless just about, to a place in Benton, owned by uh, West Paint and Brush Company. The minute I walked in, the air conditioning was okay. I paid a month's rent, which was uh, about 600 and the equal in uh, deposit. She was going to take me down to get a few groceries, which on the surface makes it sound like it, they're being nice to me, until you get the overall picture. When we came back, she informed me that the air conditioning wasn't working. Well, this happens everywhere I go. Uh, air con conditioning goes out, and it's used as a murder weapon. Slowly over time, it's, uh, it's eroded everything in my body. It made me look like uh, people know the truth, so what can I say? And I've always had the papers enough to prove it. Okay, um... August uh, the 14th, I believe it was, of uh, 09, I'm up on Roanoke Mountain camping, paying, it's legal, uh, campground. Uh, the state trooper is retired. His name's Carl Barton and Linda. Um, I had, not many people, it's, it was a beautiful campground, not many people went there. I'll say this, in the night, uh, they were the camp hosts, and they were retired Virginia State Troopers. Uh, during the night, somebody soaked my tent, and you can't get gasoline off. I woke up and had to sit up the rest of the night. Uh, I didn't ask them to do anything. The wife uh, suggested that she bring me to um, back down to Roanoke to affordable corporate suites, and uh, she'd pay the deposit. $150, and uh, I paid everything from then on, uh, the m money to get in monthly. I stayed there 17 months while I was guest. Uh, and everybody has watched this. All you'd have to do, I suppose, is get the managers up, 
it's happened over and over again, surely one of them under the threat of perjury would tell the truth. Uh, well, the proof's in the pudding. Uh, why would I go from place to place? And uh, all you have to do is look at me. Uh, chemical allergies show up in symptoms and everything, so it's not that they don't believe it. People don't. They just are afraid, and they don't care. Um, but anyway, um, the way they got me out of there, I stuck it out, out through the chemicals and the passing outs and the hell I was going through. They finally raised the rent on me to where I couldn't afford it. Um, so this was owned by a Jewish uh, affordable corporate suites. Uh, has all kinds of money in places around Roanoke and outside Roanoke. Um, Linda, since my word's been made no good anymore while they torture me, and that's exactly what they've done, is torture. Under any other name, it's torture. Um, I'm sitting here tonight, my lungs out of me just about. You can look at my eyes and see what's happened happening to me underneath my eyes, my kidneys. Um... The wife, Linda, when she had paid the deposit and she went back to the room with me, like she was being nice, I started to hug her and shake her hands to thank her. She backed away from me and said, no. She said, this is the way we run you. We make you move from place to place. Well, I knew that with chemicals. So I'm reaching out to try to think someone really, and they meant no kindness in it. Uh, and... Her husband, Barton, let me remind you, the former person, Frida Barton, they were related. Frida's from Benton, and they have family here in Benton. So you get the gist of it. Now then, a year ago, a little over a year ago, the last week in um, September, I had to leave again because I'd gotten gassed out where I was living. I couldn't take it anymore. So I went to... Um, up on the Blue Ridge Parkway, which now is all closed, the park service and all that. And uh, I pulled my stuff. Let me remind you that I can hardly walk because uh, chemicals make my body, my immune system attack itself. Um, so I can hardly walk anymore. The inflammation has taken out my um, the joints, everything, liver, you name it. It's done its job. My eyesight is depleted so so I pay to have a cab and pay to have a person take me on up to uh, um, Cordelia's Shelf on the Blue Ridge Parkway past uh, the Peaks of Otter Lodge it's closed now because of the shutdown all of it's closed up in there um, I have to pull my stuff and make I don't know how many trips to try to get to where the toilet is where I can camp and pray to be left alone. Um, I'm sitting in the middle, let me remind you, of the Appalachian Trail, and I'm the monarch that's been kidnapped. Uh, I'm sitting there with garbage bags, and I'm pulling them one by one to get down to have a tent site and camp and go and get water and a toilet, have a toilet. Uh, I, ju I just know that I'm not going to make it by night be able to get it all down there. And I'm sitting there in the middle with uh, my suitcase. That's a backpack. And my other gear that I have and a, a little food. And I'm sitting there, so it's still hot then. And I turn around, somebody, I hear voices behind me. I turn around, there's two people standing there. And um, they're Brits. And I turn around and, you know, I tear up. I'm sitting there in the middle of the trail with garbage bags and everything's thrown around and they cannot, can't walk. And um, I uh, say, <laughs> I guess they knew they were Brits. I said, thank God you're Brits. Um and they asked me, they said, um, I want you to look at my eyes if anybody gives a damn. My face. 
and there's people who walk up and down say, here I'm living, people in Roanoke. A friend of mine said, well, the rainy out of Huntsville, Alabama, the rainy out of Atlanta and Cobb County, they're never going to run you out of uh, Roanoke. Well, they've had a long time to run me, even if they take me out in the body bag. But the British, they asked me, and let me remind you, this woman and this uncle represent the United States and the New World Order. They don't represent the Brits. They're illegal. They work for the American government. The Brits have had one hell of a time with military bases. They're hostages themselves. But the two of them asked me, the male and female, would you like for us to help you? And I said, yes, please. They said, how much? And I said, as much as you can. They helped take my stuff there to the campsite. They turned around and left. And they asked me, will you be safe here, up here? Uh, that was a year ago. How on earth? The law doesn't work for me. It hasn't worked for a lot of people in this country. But they don't care about me. This country doesn't. This has happened in plain sight. And uh, what would you, you know, can you even think of uh, if uh, Michelle Obama was sitting in the middle of the uh, Appalachian Trail pulling garbage bags in a tent? 